Hi everyone, I'm back with another product review and I have as promised another pee pad to check out. If you recall earlier in the week I did um, another puppy pee pad review and today I have these ones from Amazon Basics. Now Amazon Basics is obviously um, a an extension of Amazon.com and they sell lots of um, basic things like puppy pee pads that you can get. Um, as you can see, they come in a package like this, so it's nothing fancy, but they're typically cheaper than um, the regular commercial products. So um, these are the Amazon Basics, and they come in a bag like this. There's a hundred of them. And obviously, if you're giving these as a gift or something like that, the packaging's not great, but if you're just using them for your own use at home, who really cares if they come like this? They come in our typical, regular Amazon box when you get them shipped to you, um, and then they come in this, the, this is what's inside the package. Um, I like it, it's condensed, it's small. Some of the um, other packagings are larger, bigger, bulkier boxes. This slips right in our bathroom closet, so I can store our puppy pee pads right there. Um, these are 22 inches by 22 inches, so they're a square, which you can easily see there. Now, this white part, actually, I'll hold it up again. The white part, the quilted part, is the part that absorbs the urine. This blue um, barrier here is just to keep it from leaking on your floors. So, um, if you've seen puppy pee pads before, they're all very standard, um, and this is certainly a standard one. It doesn't feel any thinner or thicker than any of the other ones that we've tried, the name brand products. Um, but they are a little bit cheaper. You can get 100 of these for $16.99, which is about $0.17 cents, um, per puppy pad. And more, most of them run $0.20 or so cents uh, per pad. So you're saving a few cents off every pad. That's a few dollars off every 100-count um, box that you buy. So that's uh, a great thing. Um, this center pad, the white part, you can see the quilted area here. That's made of a, um, a cloth material that the urine just very easily sinks down into and sinks through. Um, there's no beading or anything like that so that there's any chance of it rolling off um, and onto your floor. And then um, the white part is the, um, the there's the uh, center, what am I trying to say? The center um, will absorb the urine and it fluffs up, um, almost turning into like a gel that just sort of absorbs all of that urine. I, I don't really know how to explain it um, any better than that, but this is a five layer system. So there's the quick drying uh, quilted surface and that keeps um, you, if your dog urinates on the pad and then he goes to walk off, the um, top layer, like I said, allows it to really quickly absorb down in so your dog's not tracking it around your home, which is a great benefit. Um, it also locks in wetness and reduces odors, which is really nice. Um, the last thing you want to do when you come home from work or, um, you know, wake up in the morning is to have your house smell like dog urine. So that's a really nice feature um, as well. And then um, there's the surge layer, like I said, which keeps those um, liquids inside um, and a sponge-like core that um, it, it kind of fluffs up, it turns into a gel, and it really locks those layers in. Um, and then the plastic lining on the back, so you can see this blue part on the back is like a plasticky material, and that keeps um, the urine from leaking out onto your floor, which is a huge benefit if you put it on carpet or you put it on hardwood floors. You don't have to worry about um, the urine leaking through, so that's really nice. Um, keeps your floors from being damaged. So you wait right there, I have a bucket of water right here like you're going to go anywhere, where are you going to go? So I have this bucket of water and it doesn't actually say how many cups. Sometimes uh, when you buy puppy pee pads, they'll say um, can hold up to two cups of liquid or three cups of liquid. So this one doesn't actually give you a number of how many cups of liquid that it will hold. Um, usually if they hold two cups of liquid, that's good. If they hold three cups of liquid, that's really great. So we're going to test it out and see here. So I have, um, this is my one cup measuring cup and my bowl of water. So I have one cup here that I'm just going to dump right in the middle because typically your dog's going to pee in the same place um, and then it's going to absorb through. So you can see that it takes a second for it to um, all absorb in, but once it does, it's you can't see it probably very well, but I can see that it, it puffs up a little and sort of, um, like I said, that gel just really locks it in there. So we have one cup 
no leaks. It actually, it's just touching the barrier on this side, but it isn't even touching it um, anywhere else. So we'll go for cup number two. And uh, that's spreading out. If you can see it, I don't think you can see it very well, but um, it is spreading out fairly well. Um, I do have a little bit um, uh, touching the edge here, it's touching the edge down here, but you can see here on top, it's still not even touching um, the barrier. I have no leaks. Let me check over here. Nope, no leakage yet. So we will keep going with that. And I will try cup number three. So the middle's puffed up pretty good now. Um, there's a good amount of gel on here. Um, you can't see it, but I would say that it is puffed up about a maybe an eighth of an inch. Um, and then again, still here in the middle, nothing. Um, this corner has nothing and this corner has nothing, but here in the middle, it's really saturated right here. Um, I kind of dumped it all in the middle, but um, so that's three cups of water. I have no leaks. Three cups of, of liquid is a lot of liquid, especially if you're talking about a puppy or a small breed dog. Um, so you should be more than fine. Three cups of liquid is a lot. Um, if you have an older dog or a large breed dog, that might be something um, that you would want to think about. And this is something that's very common in most um, puppy pee pads. They are great for puppies, they're great for small breeds, but if you have like a senior dog who um, has incontinence issues, if you have, if you adopt a, um, an older dog that's a large breed, an adult large breed that's not house trained, um, that's where you get into some issues. Now, like I said, these are 22 inches by 22 inch squares. Ideal for small and medium breeds when you get into larger breeds, um, especially considering the fact that your dog's not necessarily going to be able to aim your dog just sort of walks over and squats down so if you have a large breed you're probably going to want to put two of these together um, or buy puppy pee pads that are specifically made for large breeds and those are going to be a little bit more expensive but at the same time if you double up on these you're losing you're going from a pack of 100 to a pack of only 50 if you're using them two at a time. So um, that's something to consider. So here is the puppy pee pad um, full of three cups of liquid. My tablecloth is completely dry, nothing leaking out. Um, so again, Amazon Basics, they're a little bit cheaper typically than most products, um, but not cheaper quality. They still work great. They work just as well. Um, they feel very similar to other pee pads that we've used, so um, I don't, I'm not concerned with the quality of them at all. When you get home, you can just fold this up really easily and dump it in the trash. So that's the great thing about puppy pee pads. Um, they're ideal for puppies that are potty training. They're ideal if you adopt a new dog and the dog's potty training. These aren't made to be something that you are substituting for regular bathroom breaks. So um, if you're house training, that's one thing. If you have a dog that's incontinent, that's one thing. Um, but if you just have a long days and your dog's alone all the time, um, leaving these out for the occasional accident that would be um, okay, but if you're leaving your dog for long days and expecting him to only urinate on um, the pee pads, you really should hire a, a pet sitter or a dog walker, something that's gonna get your dog out um, and teach him to use the bathroom outdoors. Um, so those are the puppy pee pads from Amazon Basics. Again, you can order these on Amazon, what a surprise. Um, $16.99 for 100 sheets, which is um, on the cheaper side of puppy pee pads, but you're not sacrificing the quality, so I'm happy with that. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns about this review and this product, um, I'd be happy to answer those. You can send me an email, it's samantha at topdogtips.com. You can find me on our website, which is topdogtips.com, and uh, my contact information is there. You can find us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. I had to think for a minute. Um, so any way that you send a comment or a question, that's going to get back to me. I'd be happy to answer it for you. If you're on our site, um, that's great. Look around. If you're watching this on YouTube, I encourage you to jump on topdogtips.com. I review all kinds of dog products from food and treats to puppy pee pads, collars, harnesses, uh, crates and kennels, dog carriers, all kinds of stuff. So um, if there's something on there that you're looking for and you can't find, please send that my way. I'd be happy to help. Um, 
um, and see if I can get that product and review that for you if it's something that you're thinking about purchasing. Chances are if you're looking for something, there are other dog owners out there that are looking for it as well. And I really, um, my goal for this is to help as many pet parents as I can make informed decisions about the products that they're buying. So I would love to hear your suggestions or um, any recommendations that you might have. And I will be back again the beginning of next week with one more puppy potty training. It's not actually a pee pad, um, but it's an indoor, it's um, got some artificial turf and it's an indoor potty for your dog. So stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe to our newsletter or follow us on um, Facebook or Twitter, Google Plus if you want to see what's coming next and be um, up to date with all of that, you can find us there. So I will see you guys back next week. I hope you have a great weekend.